Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. <laughs> Final F Oh my god, is my controller doing like something all by itself? It's moving all by itself, turn off, stop. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know what happened there. I thought Summertime Madness 2, the scary sequel, was over. How many more times am I going to make that joke in an LP? Seems like I make that joke, like, almost in almost every single video now. Where am I even going here? Jesus. <laughs> Didn't I have this exact same problem the last time where I was like, where am I even going? But yeah, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Um, I'm so sorry that, like, I got kind of bad with uploads. It never got as bad as it got with Shenmue 2, the DLP that just, like, I didn't know one ever thought was ever going to draw to a close. Um, but, um, yeah, it was just, like, summertime radness. I kind of wanted to dedicate time to that and Wind Waker. Ooh, a treasure chest. Ooh, a treasure chest. So basically what we have coming up here is since we got Riku in the last video, um, we're going to have, like, a couple of scripted battles just, like, Showing off the new mechanics that she brings to the play brings to play um, So basically if you ever see like a treasure chest um, If you ever see a treasure chest on the screen and you use Riku well, she already has access to the steal command Which means she's gonna be able to go ahead and steal whatever it has um, And as we already saw at the beginning of the game walk is an overdrive mode comrade. What a strange moment She is scary when she gets mad You'll be sorry. I love Riku. Like, in case I, like, didn't mention it, um, in case, like, I didn't mention it, um, the last time, I love Riku as a character. Um, so yeah, this is, like, showing off Riku's overdrive for the 13 level one piece for you for real. This is, like, showing off Riku's overdrive where we can, like, mix items to have, like, additional effects. So if we mix two bomb cores, um, then it will basically make an attack called Firestorm, which will do pretty horrific, like, fire damage to, um, whichever enemies are there. As I'm, as far as I know, it works pretty similarly to what did you just do? taking that care of business. Great. I can combine items and use them like this. You go, Riku. It's not that tough, really. Waka is just there, like, gobsmacked. It's like, what did she just do? That was such, like, a strange, like, moment for Waka to learn that overdrive. I think it's because he's technically part of the battle party, as you can see here on this screen. Even though he, um... Even though he's not present until right at the end. That was very strange. But yeah, as far as I know, that Firestorm thing, it works pretty similarly to, like, Lulu's, um, overdrive, like, Fire Fury or whatever in that it just does, like, fire attacks on, like, divided between the different enemies that are on screen. Um, but yeah. As I say, like, sorry about, like, being kind of bad with uploading this. Now that, like, Wind Waker is after drawing to a close, um, I'm gonna be, like, concentrating on this, um, as well as... Concentrating on this, as well as, at some stage, not right now, um, but at some stage I am going to be, um, starting an LP of, Just watch. an LP of, um, Sonic Mania, but, like, with Encore mode or whatever. Um, so yeah, lots to look forward here, and I'm, like, really, really looking forward to just being able to sync, um, to really just kind of get As you wish. stuck into doing this game more, because I love recording this game. Every time I, sit, I set this up and, like, start recording this, I just have such a good time. Um, so it's just really fun to actually be able to dedicate time to this as pretty much, like, my main LP, if you know what I mean. So we've got a lot of fun times to look forward to. And with those overkills, like, we're going to be basically, like, our we, we've kind of got to get a lot of sphere levels for Riku, and you're going to see her, like, gain... Um, gain levels quite a bit at the beginning, which is kind of what we need to do um, in order to get her HP up. She's kind of always going to be that character that has quite low HP, um, but I find her really useful. Like I, I especially like later on in the game, she kind of gets quite useful as a support character. 
a preemptive strike is going to be pretty useful because we can just nip in with Riku and steal that chest. Um, it's about, like stealing can be useful. You get like as you just saw like mega potion there, like mega faggot. Like, <laughs> that video, I swear, it's like one of my favorite videos of all time. That guy who's like, do you ought to get me to make the next Transformers movie? Because I got the best Transformers. It's like, what is he on? It's like, what the hell is he on? Gotcha um, but yeah, like, like, she actually gets to be quite a useful support character later in the game when you get access to, like, her, um... You will get access to, like, a piece of equipment that has an attribute called Chemist, which basically means you're going to be able to... Did I, did I defend with Yuna yet? I don't think I did. I'm here. Now that we have like another character in the mix, it's gonna we're gonna have to keep track of making sure everyone gets in on the the AP here. Take that. <coughs> Apologies, I had to cough. I should probably switch from that lightning good, ball yeah. back to the. Yeah, you are good. Yeah. I should probably switch from that lightning ball back to the ice ball for when we're going to be fighting these um. For if we're going to be fighting these wasps, I kind of have like these these um, these scout balls with like the different different elements because they can come in quite in handy for Waka. So, oh, have we reached where I where I think we've reached already? We're going to be heading into the Macalania Woods. No, am I even ready for this? Jesus! Oh no, Guado Salam. I'm getting confused here. We're not in the Macalania Woods at all. We're here in Seymour's hood. As you shall see. That's such like a, a, like a forgettable transition because you don't really ever... You see it like once and you never go there again. Like that transition from the moon flow to Guado Salam. It's like no wonder I got bamboozled. Here's Yuna and her posse just show we up here. Been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This guy's voice. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! We wa we woo. Oh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. <laughs> See, Lord, Lord Seymour, Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? <laughs> she sounds like so perky. Please, come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, your friends are also welcome. <laughs> I'm afraid the deflector shield will be quite operational when your friends Star, arrive. Why don't you? <laughs> ah, I almost forgot. Customizing equipment. Now that Riku has joined the party, you can customize weapons and armor. Um, which is one of the other benefits of being able to, of like stealing like random loot that you get from those enemies. So like being it now that we're able to actually steal that stuff from them, we're not going to just be able to do this, but it's also useful for like customizing the Aeons to give them extra abilities and stuff. So yeah, that suddenly becomes clear why some of the equipment that we've been picking up has like empty slots on it. So. The game takes like ages to explain something that's actually quite clear where it's just like oh if some they could have just had one sentence with if you have an empty slot on a piece of equipment then you're able to use like stuff to give it an ability. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it'll pretty much just show you what you're able to add with what like <clears throat> with like what equipment, how much you have versus how much you need and Ra blah blah blah. To be honest, I never really make that much use of this. I use it like sometimes, but you end up like picking up more equipment. So like, w otherwise, what you end up doing is you end up like investing, investing materials, investing materials to like beef up weapons that you, either you can just buy lay better ones later on, or you just end up like getting them later what on. So. Joe, it's about time we had someone like who's like a little ray of sunshine like you again here, Riku. So this is like the little shop area again. 
but actually, so there is like, oh Jesus, there's that stupid, there's that stupid noise again. <clears throat> oh, how fair you, Sir Guardian. It seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guado Salam. He's young, but he deserves our respect. Actually, shut up. Care to hear about the far plane or the pyre flies? Yeah, sure, I'm always up to listen to you. <clears throat> The far plains, the place where pyreflies born from ascending gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the far plain. Quite the phenomenon, how I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. They say the pyreflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the far plain. No image of the living has ever been seen. Hmm, interesting. It's a great mystery, but maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the heart of the living. And that little bit borrows the firefly's power for their paranormal performance. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that like, you're like the opposite of annoying. It's like that Shalinda bitch is there, like, they may be telling me who to respect and what to do. Really flies, you see. For it to just listen to you deliver that your beautiful recitation about the lore of this game. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the pyreflies doing. In fact, Pyreflies have something to do with aeons, too. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not, who knows. <laughs> and that, as they say, is that. There you go, talking like the Lion King again. I'm pretty sure this is just like some guy you can recruit for a Blitzball game. Every, every time I just see like characters like standing around like that doing nothing. It's like, I, I presume that they're just like guys you're able to recruit for a Blitzball game. <laughs> Before we like step into like Seymour's manor here, there actually is, as I say, there's like, um... As I was going to say before I realized with horror that Shalinda was there, there is like an Albed Primer here. I think I see it right there. Is that it? I thought I saw it like there on the ground. There's like an Albed Primer here somewhere. But um, I'm not seeing it here. It's in like just one of these houses randomly. Like it's not in anywhere like specific where you where you'd like choose to go or anything. It's just in like some building. But I'd kind of be loath to miss out on it. Oh, Owaka. Hey there. The main man! Oh. Lay some skin on me! Let's chat. I tell you, these Guado merchants are shrewd. Ripping off the pilgrims, they come to visit the far plane. Listen, you watch that they don't get you to. Me, you can trust. More than a Guado, at least. What do you say? Oh, I love, um... I love a Waka. Weapons. Bye. See, again, there's, like, nothing here that's as good as what we've got. Well, technically, that's better. The Shimmering Blade. And it has, like, an empty space. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. And it has an empty space. The Devastator, that's for Riku. Abilities equip nothing. I might as well get that. And it has an empty space. Yeah. Because those empty spaces are so important. I'm probably going to want to buy these, like, going into... Do you know what? Like, I don't know. Do I really need to buy these going into the Thunder Plane? Like, later on? It's like, really, is the Thunder Plane that, like... That, like, scary? Well, no, I don't want to buy any items off you. Sorry, Awaka. Leave. Still on the hunt for this Albed Primer here. There's, like, something about, like, Guado Salam that I like. It's, like, got this strange, like, organic... Um, like, this strange sort of organic feel to it. Like, it's just, like, 
it feels like you're just inside in this big tree or something. Which I guess that's what it's supposed to feel like. Was it in here that the Albert Primer is? It's like in one of these like houses, but I can't remember where. And like, I, like I'm never going to actually just see it on the ground. Apparently I just did. S is revealed to be M. Now I'm an Albed, whatever that says. Um, so yeah. I think probably we'll leave it at that before heading into Seymour's mansion here. It's Mumbo's mansion. It's like Mumbo's mountain. It's Mumbo's mansion, I kept calling it in the Banjo-Kazooie LP. We got a mega potion. Um, so yeah. I guess in the next part, um... Because I'm trying to like keep these videos a bit shorter, I don't want them to be way too long. We're going to head into Seymour's Manor and see what, what horrors await us. So, see you next time on Final Fantasy X, The Scary Sequel. Bye now.